over 2,000 years, the people of China used a tea made from a plant called Artemisia annua to control fever. After years of scientific trials, the Chinese discovered that a substance within this plant was actually active against malaria. Professors Yi Chang and Kading capitalized on this discovery and mixed components of ancient Chinese medicine with Western medicine. They are largely credited with developing one of the world's most effective malaria treatments. By grouping two separate drugs, each with its own independent function, into a single tablet, the professors created the first anti-malarial combination therapy and ushered in a new way of thinking. The WHO's adoption of ACTs in 2001 signalled a paradigm shift in which the world medical community began to take measures to protect the drug against resistance. After a group of scientists published a sharply critical paper about the state of malaria in 2004, the tide turned. Dozens of countries started to use donor funds to buy ACTs, rapidly increasing the demand for artemisinin. Since, the ACTs have become the gold standard in the treatment of malaria. From the Artemisia annua farmers in China, to the factory workers in the United States, to malaria sufferers in Africa, this is a global initiative to rid the world of malaria and millions of people are benefiting. Today, the message is one of hope.